Final cut, and I'm gonna show you how to change your mat size and your media size. So say you wanna cut this um, for a shirt and you want to cut it three times. So you go to your multiply tool or your replicate tool and um, duplicate it two more times. So as you can see, it's gonna need more than just a 12 by 12 sheet of vinyl. So say I have a uh, 12 by 18 sheet, which I do, my vinyl that I buy comes in 18 inches wide. So I'm gonna go up here to my page setup and um, make sure this first one's clicked, the design area setup. So I'm gonna use my Cameo, so I select that. My cutting mat. I'm gonna have to use my my 24 inch cutting mat. I like to use a mat because I like to cut all the way to the edge. Even though this isn't going to the edge, I still I'm just in the habit of um, using my mat. Uh, it it allows me to hold the media in place. I, I just prefer it. So I'm gonna use my um, 12 by 24 inch. So I have to select that and then my media size. So say, you know, it doesn't go all the way this way. I know it's 18 inches and I wanna make sure I don't go over. Um, I'm gonna change my media size to custom and the width is, and it's actually, um, I'm gonna cut it to 10 inches. So um, it's just gonna help me line it up a little bit better. And I'm going to uh, put in my 18 inch sheet. So I know just by looking at this that I have this much available space. So I can um, line it up a little bit better. So I'm going to line it up uh, with itself and, um, and, and that's good. You just also wanna leave enough room in between here to cut it. I've actually cut part of my design off before because um, I, I tried to, um, you know, save final, and I try to, you know, really nest it in there. Um, I just decided that um, it's just not worth it because I mess up so many times I end up wasting the vinyl. So I'm just gonna go ahead and and leave it like this, um, and I'll have this much extra, um, as and I'll put it in my scrap drawer. So I hope that helps. Um, for those of you who like to use your mat and you want to know um, what your area is by putting in the dimensions of the actual sheet of vinyl you're going to use. So you just go to your page setup and then and work these settings. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new. If you have any questions, leave it below. Um, if you want to see more videos in the future, you can subscribe. And when you get notified, um, if you want to be notified when I produce a new video, you can just click the little bell. And thank you very much. Have a great day.